and welcome to Rose Red Homestead for kind of a different sort of a video. I've invited my daughter Cindy to be with us today because uh, she grew up during her preteen and teenage years in El Paso where we both learned a lot about, or she ate and I cooked, uh, Mexican food that, that I had been taught by some of the Mexican ladies in our church. They were so generous with their knowledge. However, I never did learn about nixtamalization, and so that's what I have been working on over the last few days. I am now on batch number five or six, I think I have lost track, and I've tried a different recipe, and so we're gonna start with that, and then um, this was just going to be a work day. Cindy and I were gonna to work together. She's very interested in Mexican food, as am I, and especially this process that is gonna turn our food storage corn into corn that is far more nutritious and much more available for nutrition as we store it in our food storage. So we're gonna get started right now and I'm gonna show you what I have done and show Cindy what I have done. And, and Jim is out working on the air conditioner in the um, Kelvin lab and so he's not behind the camera and we can't do close-ups. But I'm gonna to try to tip this without spilling it. I don't know if you can see this very yellow water. Um, this was a little bit of a different batch than the one we showed in our last video. This was um, three cups of corn to one gallon of water to two tablespoons of the um, pickling lime. And then it was simmered for 45 minutes, then put into this big bowl with a bunch of ice to cool it. And then it has sat in my sink overnight and that has been now 11 hours. So we're going to do what we did with the other ones. I'm going to... Um, I'm going to dump it into this catch basin and then show Cindy how to wash it. Then we're going to do some fun things with it throughout the day. And we'll bring you back from time to time and show you where we are. So here goes the alkaline water. Very yellow water. The kernels here, because it cooked longer and had a big soak, this is now what is it? Hominy. Oh yes, this is now hominy and um, or nixtamal, depending on which language you speak. And so this now has to be rinsed. And since we have a septic system, this doesn't go down my septic system. It gets dumped in a special place on our property. So I'm just going to rinse this like we've done before. The water coming out is quite yellow. And as I plunge my hands in here, it's not a problem. Most of that alkaline is gone. And we're interested in getting the outside coverings off the corn here. I'm going to put water in here and we're going to just wash and go back and forth. So Cindy, let me show you how this works. And so I put a little water. You can see it's, all, it's still yellow. And then I just put it up in my hands and just give it a little wash like this. Should I take my rings off? I leave mine on, but uh, we had word from a jeweler that she never leaves her rings on when she does anything with anything. So <laughs> whatever you want. So here is the mixed amount or the hominy that I have from several batches. That's all I have left because I dehydrated this much and we're going to grind some of this into cornmeal to see how it does maybe even get it as um, fine as masa, and we may be able to make masa with some that is dried in ground as well as some of the wet stuff as well. One more, you think? Okay. While she finishes that up, I am gonna grind some of this and let's see what we get. I'm going to grind some of this. Cindy, do you want to try to grind some of that? I'm going to turn the camera just a little bit so it can see you better.
let's show some of that to the, you're probably gonna have to, to walk up there and. It feels damp, which it is, but it's not as soaking as I thought it might be. Yeah, it came out drier than I thought. Okay, what do you think of this cornmeal? That's pretty fine. I think it's pretty fine. It's not quite as fine as when you kind of have a bag of masa. Well, but that seems a little. is made from white corn so that's one thing but the texture is very much like flour mm -hmm. this is still cornmeal I think that it is too fine for grits have you ever had grits mm -hmm. is that grits or is it does it need to be more gritty maybe a little bit more it's you could probably have grits out of that but usually grits are a little bit bigger pieces okay I'm going to redo this to try to get this and see what we get You want me to do all of this? No. About about a cup, cup and a half. it is really close. Counting for color, but texture it looks really close. I think it is. Okay, I'm going to do enough that we can do some masa using this, and then we'll do masa using that, and then we'll make some tortillas. My gosh, it just sticks together. <laughs> See, this doesn't stick together at all. Well, yeah, this will once we add water to it. But if I just do the regular corn before we've nixtamalized it, it doesn't stick together. All right, so now we have all of this flour for making masa. Okay, so. We need to add water a little at a time and I would just use, I mean we both remember what masa feels like so I would just add a little at a time and kind of mix it together. Also it says to use salt so do we want to sprinkle a little salt? Do you use salt when you make masa? Um, I usually instead of water I'll usually use chicken broth. Yes that makes it <laughs> lovely. And so with that, that, I don't really have to add salt, but if we're going to use water, then probably a little salt. Okay. It feels wet. Yeah. Maybe a little bit more masa. I know when I smear it on husks, it's usually more on the wet side. So yes. it probably depends what we're making it. I think so. eating Mexican food that I would make in El Paso when we lived in El Paso? Yeah, I remember, um, I mean, we did tamales. I remember making tostadas. Yeah. Well, so you and I have done tamales a number of times over the years, and mm -hmm. if it was all total together, you have probably made more, tor more tamales than I have made in your lifetime compared to what I've made in mine. 
I don't know. <laughs> I think so. Okay, so let's just cover these, keeping these separate. So I have two with the ground flour and two with the store-bought. And then we have five with our own mixed mal. Okay. You know, I don't know that I notice any difference between the taste of that, the way it was processed, and the taste of this. Why don't you try it? These are chilled because they've been in the fridge, but see what you think. different flavor and texture. This is softer and a milder base flavor. I think I like the flavor of that better. I'll try it. Well that's good to know. Cindy has a much more finer sense of taste than I do. She can she can discern what herbs are in different dishes and I can't. Is this the, the flavor is better here? All right, well, it's that's more of a, a mellow, less sharp. I don't know. It's little, but and the, the the texture seems to mash up easier than this. So I do prefer that one. Well, I think I'll make this our go-to recipe for nixtamalization then. It was very easy. So the nixtamalization piece is not a problem for me at all. It's, it takes many, many hours, but it doesn't take very much of my time to do it. Maybe 10 minutes total of my time. So anyway, that's good to know. All right, well, I'm gonna keep that separate from this then. I mean, they're both good, but. Yeah, they are both really good. So this was very exciting to see that this worked well. Yes. Now I found, I bought, an, well, Jim bought a new one for me because I didn't know that I had one. And I went outside to our food storage and found this tucked away on a back shelf. Cindy, this I think this came from when you were a teenager. Wow. So I'm going to give it to you. Well, thank you. Because Jim bought me a new one. And, um, you know, I don't have any wooden thing to, like a countertop or anything, so I have to use this. And so one of the things, let's just put this over here in the water. So <coughs> Have you seen those, um, what is this material? Silicone. Silicone, yes. Have you seen those little silicone gloves that are like half and it? Yes. They're the, so ridiculous. <laughs> so I cut this up and then folded it the other way so that so I could have no grip surface. So I have two of them, and so I'm going to give you one too that needs cleaning now. And then flatten it with your hand, but I forgot to do it, and then put it right there. <gasps> It's good. Mm, sorry. <laughs> okay. Do you remember when I used to bring um, fresh tortillas home from the tortilla ranch uh, in Juarez? Yes, we would. We'd be down there too. And we'd go and. Oh, you guys would go with me. Mm -hmm. I remember I used to take you children with me when I went. It completely ruined cold store-bought tortillas from then on. Oh, because yes. we could just eat them warm right out of the package. Didn't need to put anything on. Well, and you all were fascinated with the machinery. Yes, just to watch it. And we had a favorite place in El Paso where we would go to eat gorditas. And anytime any of us go back to El Paso, which is more frequently on behalf of the children than for me, everybody always stops at Little Diner. In Canutillo, Texas. Can Canutillo. Is that how you say it? Canutillo, yeah, Canutillo. Cindy has also taught Spanish because she grew up learning Spanish as she went. 
She's a high school teacher locally. Teaching kind of runs in our family. She's the third generation teacher we have. Our videographer is back from his adventures with the air conditioner in the Kelvin lab. So we're happy to see you, honey. Okay, thank you. We're going to have gorditas for lunch, Jim. <laughs> oh, okay. Like it or not. I guess, I guess. I guess. Yes, open the drawer in front of you. So these turned out very cute with a little pocket in the middle that I had to hand cut. <laughs> this is the puff one. Oh, okay. And we have filling over on the stove and then cheese and lettuce right here. So thank you for joining us today. We've learned a lot. This was just a learning curve day. Cindy and I are working on a longer term project that we're going to share with you a little bit later and we'll bring you back when it is uh, closer to being in progress. So thank you and we will see you at our next video. Happy Gordita. <laughs>